In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Telegram to NADN so that you can start creating custom AI agents and bots. These could be Airbnb bots, customer service bots, restaurant ordering bots. It doesn't really matter. This is the foundations. So let's get right into it. So the first step is going to be to add a Telegram trigger. So let's click on Telegram here and we want this in the trigger as soon as we get a message, which is why it says trigger on message. To set up Telegram, click on create new credential here and you will need an access token. The way to get this access token is actually pretty interesting. Um, if you head over to Telegram and type in bot father, you're going to get this bot here. Click on start. And this is almost like a self-service way of making the bot and getting the API token. So we're going to start off with create a new bot here. Um, all right, new bot. How are we going to call it? Let's call it uh, restaurant um, ordering demo YouTube, right? Something like that. Let's give it a name. Choose username for your bot. It must end in bot. So let's do YT restaurant demo bot. Hopefully that's not taken. Perfect. So let's copy this access token here, paste this here, and click on save. And this will be Telegram account too, right? Maybe I can just call this YouTube demo account. So I know, click on save. And now we have our connection actually done. Now let's actually test the spot and make sure it's working. So I'm going to come back here and go to YT restaurant demo bot. Copy this, paste it here. So this is a live bot that bot father made for us. So let's click on start here. And when I come back here, I'm going to click on test step so that it's listening. And this is just the first step here. Now it's listening for test events. So let's say, hi, how are you? On enter here and what we should see over here, text, hi, how are you from me? The next step is gonna to be to add the AI component. Whenever a message like, hi, how are you comes in, we use AI to get a response and then ultimately send it back. So I'm gonna exit out of here, click on the plus sign. Let's type in open AI. That's just my preferred LM. You can use whatever you want. Um, text actions, message model. And here on the left side, you will see the input we got from this chat here. Hi, how are you? Does pop up right here, right? And like the name and stuff, if you want to do more advanced stuff with, you know, based on who it is or what type of role it is, make a different response. We can do that later on. This is just the basics. If you haven't set up your OpenAI account already, it's pretty simple. Just click on create new credential here, paste your API key, which you can find in this URL here as after you've logged in and just click on create new secret key, give it a name, you'll get a key, copy paste that over here. It's very straightforward. So I'm gonna exit out of this. Resource is text. For the model part, I will just pick the latest model here. Let's just do GPT-4 0125 preview. And finally the text. So this is the most important part. This is where you put in the actual business logic. So in our case for this restaurant ordering bot, we want to put in the actual menu that the restaurant has and maybe some basic instructions on how to greet the customer how to act, what to say, and so on. So let me put in a sample prompt in a quick sec. So what I did here is said, you are a waiter at Sushi Express, you help people find the right items of the menu, and I just put in a sample menu here generated from ChatGPT to keep things simple. Um, and then finally, the customer request. So I'm actually gonna call this customer question. And from here, we're gonna take in what we get back from Telegram. So I don't know why, it always pastes it really weirdly. Right here. Right now, this says, hi, how are you? But it'll say whatever the person on the other side actually texts to the Telegram bot in the first place. And that's what we want, right? We don't want it to keep answering the same question every single time. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to click on test step here and let's get some sample data back. Content says, hi, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How can I help you today? Are you looking for any recommendations or do you have any questions of the menu? That's good enough for us to start. So from here, we get this response from the AI. Now, obviously, you want to send it back to the customer. So if I go back here and click on Telegram, find send a message. So I believe it's send a message, send a text message here. Um, credentials, same credentials as before. So you won't have to set it up again. Resource is a message. Operation is send message. Chat ID, this is super important. We get this from our initial Telegram trigger in the first step. So I'm just going to copy paste this. And again, it's a dynamic variable. The text itself is what we want to respond it back with. And this will be whatever AI, open AI gives us back. So I'm going to click on content here, right? Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. And from here, if I click on test step, you're going to notice I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How can I help you today? Are you looking for any recommendations or do you have any questions about the menu? The only last thing we need to do to make this workflow actually run 24 seven and become a live bot 
Let's click on activate over here. Click got it. And if I ask the question, how much is your spider roll? Let's say I'm interested in that price. It's going to do its thinking. The spider roll is $14. If I go back to my prompt up here, spider roll is $14. There we go. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more in-depth N8N AI tutorials just like this. If you want to see how I built an AI email assistant to respond to my inbox 24-7, watch this video over here. Bye.